So let's go ahead and begin. So most of you are already familiar with the um, login of uh, the prognosis home screen. So I'm logged into our database here. The first thing that I want to show you is this new blinking sunburst icon up here on the right. So if you click on this icon and it is available both on the EMR and billing side, it'll invoke this pop up here. This is going to give you information about all of the new features that are available with this new home screen release. So this sunburst icon will be available for 30 days after the release, after which time the information is going to be available both here on the global help icon. It's the one that looks like the life preserver. And then also in our resource center, which is located here. So again, that's that sunburst icon on the right hand side of your screen. And I'm sure some of you have already taken notice to the color scheme. So the color scheme um, is a little different here. It's going to be reflected on other screens throughout prognosis as we continue our stage system wide updates. One of the first features that I want to show you is our patient reminders. So previously the patient reminders were available on the home screen and they're now available under the appointment tab here. So you'll just hover over appointments and then select reminders. So there have been no changes to the functionalities or the features of this particular reminder page. The only difference is again, now appointments or I'm sorry, reminders are available under the appointment tab and then you simply hit reminders. You can still check your health maintenance, vaccination due, all of your upcoming appointments and follow-ups. So you'll just make your selection from the drop-down, select your date range and hit go to generate that list of patients. And I'm gonna jump back onto the home screen here. Now the assign clinic users which was previously available using that uh, box towards the middle of your screen. There's no more box there. It's a new user dropdown. So you can select or deselect users from this list. And you'll notice any of the selections that we make once we hit OK to apply are visible by hovering over this selected icon here. So you'll just mouse over that icon to see which users you've selected. Now the My Preferences feature, it's a feature that's available to providers. It's been removed from the home screen, but it will still be available for your providers by going here to Settings and they can simply hit my preferences. None of the features or functionalities for this particular page have been changed. So my preferences, again, will be available by going to settings and then select my preferences. Everything that was previously available in classic view will still be available. One of the features that I think is really awesome here is this new ellipsis icon. So in the classic view home screen, you saw all of your icons right here to the right. If you hover over a patient's name and that ellipsis icon here, you can see all of the icons that were previously available and make your selection here. So not only do we have the actual icon itself, but also a description of the icon, which is really helpful. So it makes the system even easier to navigate. For instance, we can select patient details and it'll invoke that pop-up with the patient registration. 
we can go to another patient here, hover over that ellipsis icon and select insurance details. And those same pages will still invoke in the form of a pop-up. But it's really great to have the description for what each icon is for. Now, there have been some changes to our inbox. If we hover over our inbox here, and click on that. It's the same icon as before, but now when you click it, it'll invoke this drop down with the first 10 messages in your inbox. And they are sorted from most recent to older here. Most recent will be up top. You can sort uh, what messages that you'd like to see, for instance, urgent or alerts by just clicking on these hyperlinks here. And then you also have icons listed next to each of your messages. So each of these icons will mean something different. For instance, the system level messages will have this blue exclamation mark or info, um, rather info icon here. We also have the yellow envelope here for admin messages. System level messages will have this bell. So each of the message types will have an icon assigned to it. Now your inbox is now color coded. So the blue arrow next to the message will mean that the message has been read versus the red uh, exclamation mark next to the message means that it's an unread message. And then if we go right down here to the bottom, we can check go to inbox and it'll take us to our inbox that we're used to seeing. And there has been no changes to this page either. So same feature, same functionality, functionality, excuse me, you'll use this the exact way that you had before. Now jumping back to the home page here, we still have our dashboard, which is available using these system level icons. And when you click on that, it'll take you to this page and you'd have to jump back to the home screen to view that home screen again. Now you can click on this dashboard icon here. So you can view your actual dashboard itself and use your home screen at the same time. You can also use your vertical bar down here at the bottom of the screen to see any fields that are not visible when this dashboard is up on the screen. So this dashboard will take up approximately a fourth of your screen, but it's great because now you can work from the home screen and view your co-pays that were collected or any no-shows. So to exit out of that dashboard, you just click this close button here and your full home screen is viewable. Now with this new release, we still have our appointment tab and our open encounter tabs available here. So whichever tab that you've selected, you'll notice this red band up top. This red band is just indicating the tab that you're currently on, open encounters, We've got our red band and then we jump back to appointments and we've got our red band up top here. So your appointment tab still uh, displays all of the appointments that are scheduled for the current day. And then your open encounters tab, of course, still displays all of the encounters that are open and yet to be closed. And right below your open encounters tab, we have our total arrived appointments versus our total scheduled appointments here. So previously they were located about here in the middle of your page. And now they've been moved right here to the left-hand side. So 
So one of the features that I'm really excited to show you guys is our manage columns option. So when we click here to manage the columns, first off, I wanna mention that all of the columns that you'll see when the new release is first launched is that all of these columns are your default columns that are available on your classic view now. When we click on manage columns here, this is set up as an accordion file and this is user-based, so if one user wants to view one thing on their home screen and another user wants to view others on their home screen, um, they can make their selection for themselves. When we click on appointment information here, anything that has a black arrow by it is just indicating that it is not on the selected column list and we can add it to our selected column list. Anything with a grayed out arrow like actual or scheduled. Those are items that are already on our selected column list here. So if we wanted to add date to our selected column and maybe checkout docs, and then we wanted to jump down here to patient information and add perhaps chart number, provider information, we'll add referring provider here. And we wanted to take out something like um, visit type. We can simply hit the arrow for visit type and it would transfer that back over to the available columns list rather than the selected columns list. So once you've made your selection here, you can simply hit apply and you'll see that the new columns that we've selected are visible. I'm gonna jump back in here to this managed columns icon. We can also arrange our columns in the order that we'd like to see them. For instance, if we wanted date up top, we can simply hit this dotted icon and drag this right up top here. And let's say we wanted to see patient forms last, simply grab that icon and drag it down below here. We'll hit apply. And now our columns are arranged in the order that we've indicated. And you can make as many selections as available here. And if the information in the columns is not viewable because you've got so many columns selected, it's no problem. You can use that vertical scroll bar here to just move back and forth to see the information that you'd like. It's also really great because you can change the sizing of your columns here. So you simply click in between each of those columns and just drag the column over to your size preference. We can also sort our columns by clicking these upward and downward arrows here. And the column that you last sorted, you'll notice that white arrow will show up opposed to this upward and downward arrow. We also have our filters still available here. So we'll click on filters here. There's been no changes to the functionality of this particular page or this feature here. So you can still filter out the provider, uh, visit type, visit status or location. Now I'm gonna jump right down here to the bottom right hand side of your screen we can now sort our pages. So as you see, we've got, we're on page one of two for our open encounters. We can tab on over to page two or go back to the previous page by using these arrow icons. You can also easily go to the first or last page by using the first or last icon down here. 
So if you've got you know 10 pages of open encounters and you want to get to that last one, rather than tabbing over to each individual page, it's really great because now you can just click this last arrow or this first arrow and get to where you'd like to be. Now, if you hover over each of these icons, it'll tell you exactly which what it's for. Previous page, you've got next page, last page, and first page. We can also just type in the page number now. So we can put in page two, hit enter, and it'll take us directly to that particular page. Now on our appointments tab here, we still have our calendar. So it's been moved over to the left-hand side here. Now when we click on our calendar, it'll invoke this little pop-up here. And we can select the day or the month that we wish to view. When we make our selection, we can X out and hit this T icon, and it'll take us back to our current date. Now, I just wanna mention that, um, let me go over our patient forms here. So our patient forms here, although the icon looks a little different, this feature still works the same. You can go on down to this drop down and make the selection for which form that you want to use. All the color coding on the forms is still the same. So we've got our red forms versus our yellow forms. So the icon does look a little different but the features and functions are the same here. Now, I do wanna mention though that this is a um, clinic-based feature uh, with this new release. So if you prefer classic view, it is still available. Um, somebody with admin privileges is able to go into settings and configuration and make that change. So if you don't prefer to use the system, uh, with this new feature release. I'm gonna log out here and just show you how we can switch on back to classic view. So we'll go into settings configuration here, properties. We'll type in home, and action buttons. And we can switch on back to classic view in your properties. So now you see the classic view with those same system level icons as they were before. Again, that's settings configuration, properties. You can type home in the name category and then action in our tag category, select that particular tag, and now we'll switch it back to what we refer to as row level, which is the enhanced home page. So those are the major changes for the EMR side. I'm gonna jump on over to our billing side and billing is user-based based on your privileges. So not everyone will see this billing icon over here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on over here. And you'll see that the color scheme is the same as it was uh, on the EMR side. We have both our open uh, appointments, or I'm sorry, open encounters and our appointments tabs here. With that same red band up top indicating which tab that we're on. The availability of your calendar and to jump back to the current day. We also have our filters option and our manage columns option available on the billing side, which is really great. We have our billing dashboard.
that we can view while using the home screen. So our billers can now see um, you know, their aging buckets and their top 10 insurance carriers while viewing their home page here. And if I exit out of that dashboard here, you'll notice that this information band up top, we've got hyperlinks available. So when we click on the hyperlink for the dollar amount, it'll allow us to view the information that we've selected. But there are no changes to these particular pages that we're viewing. So again, we can click on these hyperlinks to access the information and view the information, but no changes to these particular pages. So those are all the features that I wanted to show you. I'm gonna jump on back to the EMR side and open this up for any questions. And I do wanna mention again that this information after the new release will be available here using this sunburst icon. So we can simply click that and get all of the details about this new release. And once the 30 days expires for this sunburst icon, the information will be available here in the help center and then also in our resource center. Well, I wanna thank you again for joining today's webinar. And once again, if you have any questions, concerns when this rolls out tomorrow, please feel free to reach out to your implementation specialist, our tech support team, or use this sunburst icon here for any information.